In this video, I'm going to answer five things about tarot questions that I've received. Um, so one of those things is what does a double headed hatchet mean in tarot cards? The next question is, can I put tarot cards in my wallet with money? And that's a really interesting one. And I have a lot of things to say about that. Um, the next question is, how do I connect with a tarot card deck that was previously used by someone else? Um, the fourth question is, is it safe to receive tarot cards from someone you don't know? And the fifth question is, does the picture on the tarot card mean something or just what is written? So I'm going to answer those five questions in this video. You'll want to look below in the description box. I'll have all of that time stamped so you can just fast forward to the question that you want or you can listen to the whole thing. So let's get started. The first question is, what does the double-headed um, double headed ritual axe mean in tarot? Well, it's also called a labyrinth, and it represents Zeus, Jupiter, the uh, planet Jupiter of luck and expansion, uh, Zeus, Thor's axe, uh, which are all, I mean, they're different gods in different pantheons. But if you do like the homework, they all have like the same meanings behind them. They're just from different cultures. Uh, it can also represent the goddess because of the two sides and the entrance. It's the female genitalia. So it's a very feminine, it, it actually combines feminine and masculine. So it would be um, corresponding to the number seven which is incorporating both feminine and aspect numbers. Uh, we have four, which is the feminine number, and then we have three, which is the masculine number, and they come together and they make seven, which is perfection. So it represents perfection, the god and goddess coming together and producing life. It can also be considered a butterfly symbol because it has the two sides and then the um, the stripe in the middle. So that would be transformation. So it also represents transformation. So it represents the masculine and feminine coming together, the god Zeus in specific, and the mother goddess Earth coming together. And it also represents a butterfly, so change, transformation, perfect union. The second question is, can I put tarot cards in my wallet with money? Absolutely, and I highly encourage it. Um, the tarot cards that you would want to use are any of the pentacles. They represent financial wealth. And I actually recommend putting a bay leaf in with it as well. So you put money, a tarot card, a bay leaf, write whatever denomination that you want on your bay leaf, and it's going to bless you. Patchouli is another good um, herb to put in your wallet. Patchouli, leaves or bay leaves and write the amount that you want and any of the pentacles the major arcana cards that you could use would be the devil the hierophant um i i would use the wheel of fortune The Wheel of Fortune, the Hierophant, the Devil, the Magician, the Magician, that corresponds back to Virgo and Mercury. So yeah, the uh, Magician, the Wheel of Fortune, the Hierophant, the Devil. So yeah, that's, that's a basic money spell. The third question is, how do I connect to a tarot deck that was previously owned by somebody else? When you have a tarot deck, you put your energy on it. And sometimes that energy that the other person has 
um, will kind of linger on the tarot decks and it may feel uncomfortable to people that are extremely sensitive. So when you get a new tarot deck, what I recommend is actually clearing your deck. You can do that with sage and crystals and sunlight and you just say your intention. I clear all energy from this and do your sage, put it put your sage underneath the sage is gonna clear everything and then you might want to just put a crystal and let it linger overnight um, some sunlight even moonlight full moonlight's another good way full moon not new moon full moon full moon rids you of things so use full moonlight a crystal sage and your intention that you want to clear this deck and then you can use it just like you would a deck that you just bought Actually, even whenever you buy a deck, sometimes it can have that lingering energy. When you get a new deck in your house, I recommend to clear it because you don't know what kind of energy that other person has. There could be some demonic energy attached and you can get some really tricky trickster like responses from that deck. So always clear your deck first, whether you bought it or got it from somebody else. The fourth question is, is it safe to receive cards from somebody that I don't know? Yeah, absolutely, because you're gonna clear your deck anyway. As we said in number three, you're going to take your new deck, no matter who you got it from, and you're going to use sage underneath. You're gonna let the smoke go on it. You're going to give the intention to clear this deck. You're gonna put it under a full moon light with a clear quartz crystal on top of it or selenite. Selenite will work too. Um, or even like a black onyx would be good to just get all of that energy out. And uh, yeah, your deck will be clear. So it doesn't matter who you got it from. <laughs> I have a couple decks that I actually got from people and I like the energy so I didn't clear it. Like my, um, my deck, my Doreen Virtue Talking to Heaven deck. I didn't clear that one. I, I liked the energy. It's this very sad energy and I didn't want to get rid of that. So it, but if you feel uncomfortable with the energy that you're feeling, you definitely want to clear your death. The fifth question is, does the picture on the tarot cards mean something or is it just written? Oh, this is a good question. Um, yeah, the pictures mean something. That's why you get multiple deaths. Um, so you could have a Queen of Pentacles in one deck and a Queen of Pentacles in the next deck, but the picture is going to be completely different. It depends on where it lands in the tarot spread, how you would read that, how you would interpret it. Yeah, it's still going to have the same undercurrent of meaning of somebody who's like a domestic goddess, who um, takes care of their home, who's really good with money, who is no fuss practical, sensible, but say, say you have a, a reading and the Queen of Pentacles is looking this way over the King of Pentacles and they're making eye contact, then that could be a, talking about a couple, a, uh, a down-to-earth practical couple. It could be talking about a Capricorn, or you could have the Queen of Cups looking this way and the King of Cups looking that way. So the, that's a couple that's not seeing eye to eye. They may not even be communicating right now. So it really does have an impact. You always need to look at the pictures. Don't rely on the meaning. The best tarot is intuitive tarot. That's the best tarot. When you use your intuition and pictures trump meaning 100% of the time because there's some tarot decks where they do not correspond with the traditional meaning at all and it wouldn't make sense to read that in the traditional sense the the only reason that you have meanings for the cards is to kind of give you an idea of worth it when you're in the learning process but when you're an advanced tarot reader the meanings don't really mean anything you need to look at the pictures and use your intuition and that's how you give a really good psychic tarot reading